Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com playing World of Tanks. The tank is the Excelsior. This is a British Tier 5 heavy tank, and the map is Cliff. This is one of my best performing tanks. I have an 81% win rate with this tank with uh, more than 30 games as of today. I am going to get six kills in the game. Um, I believe I'm going to actually kill four SPGs on the enemy team. I'm not sure. I'm going to do uh, the top damage for the team, which will be 1,200 damage. And I'm going to get the top EXP for the team, which will be 1,200 EXP. Now, this map, there's a few places that I like to play. I like to play right over here, especially in the domination mode. Because what happens when you're over here is when the tanks come from their spawn, they have to... Uh, climb the hill and cross in front of here and you just keep nailing tanks as they come out of their spawn But over here you can hit a lot of vulnerable tanks and you can hide as long as the enemy team Doesn't take up the same position you can do a lot of sniping and a lot of damage from this location without being spotted I also like to play right over here on this slope from this slope You can hit tanks that are in the center of the field and you've got a wide area where you can shoot. Uh, often I also go around the outside. I used to love playing over there for the brawl. I don't really do it that often anymore, but if I do have a high tier heavy tank, I will go that way. Uh, this is actually quite a fast tank. It's got decent armor, and for its tier it's got great armor, and it's got a rapid fire gun, and, and as you can see, it has uh, a gun with a narrow long tube which means it's probably going to uh, reload faster and do less damage. I don't know why I fired. Maybe I was trying to fire at the bush in case somebody was there. And another good thing about this location is that you can hide very easily. Now I was spotted because there are tanks over here. It's very important, I'll say this in many games, to kill spotters as quickly as possible. Without the spotters, the enemy team becomes crippled and blind. Uh, one of the things that I don't like, I mean, if you look at the mini-map, the vast majority of my team is still near the spawn. So I don't have a lot of faith in my team at this point. And perhaps I wasn't paying attention while I was playing the game, but absolutely now they've completely failed and I can't expect to rely on them. Uh, so these uh, spotters here are going to cause a lot of trouble. And in general, when they are here, I usually have trouble. Uh, for example, if they were not there, I'd be able to hit that M2 and he would never know. I'd, I would spot him, reverse, shoot through the bushes, and he would have absolutely no idea where I am. Well, he'd be able to pinpoint a little bit. Ready to fire. Track hit. Now, another thing about playing on the front lines like I do is that you're going to be the first one spotted which means that I might be the only one spotted. And when they have four SPGs and you're the only one spotted on the team, all the artillery on the enemy team is going to shoot at you. So you got to be really careful for artillery when you're on the front lines and you're the first one spotted. Target unlocked. Target acquired. Enemy armor is damaged. Got to keep on moving to avoid artillery fire. Target unlocked. Now you'll note that uh, I believe it was the Wolverine. He made it to the top of the hill, and I've been up there. I've played games up there. Sometimes it's completely useless. And this is a game where, for the most part, it's going to be useless for him to be up there because we don't have tanks for him to spot. I mean, he's going to spot perhaps at Valentine and the Churchill and the M7, but the rest of these tanks on my team, he's never going to spot. So he's not going to have good luck up there. Our team did kill the spotter. However, another tank showed up. And I did love the Covenanter. It's a great tank. Ready to fire. But I'll easily destroy him, <laughs> and so will my artillery. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is damaged. You'll notice that while I'm reloading, I do hide behind the rock. Enemy 
harbor is destroyed. And on that last particular case, I only went forward enough to be able to make the shot. Even though I didn't do that before, in general, you only want to go beyond the rock enough so that your gun can make the shot. And if you have to be really safe, you need to do it with the sharpshooter mode. And if you want to do it fast, you do it with the auto aim. You can see there's a lot of a lot of incoming fire. As I said, uh, if you're the only one spotted, you're going to get a lot of incoming fire from the artillery. The score is five to one. I'm probably just sitting here to wait until I become unspotted. Now, one good thing about the Excelsior is you can uh, it it accelerates quickly. It has reasonable power. So you can chase down enemy targets very easily with the Excelsior. And I do have the APCR uh, rounds loaded, even though it's not necessary. Now obviously because there is, or there was a Wolverine up on the hill, I decided to stay close to the hill. If he weren't there, I easily would have headed towards these houses. Uh, you'll notice that as I said, when he's up at the top of the hill, he's not going to be able to spot our team, so he's going to find nothing, and he would probably abandon the position, and that's exactly what he did. Okay, so I do have two kills. The T1 Heavy was killed by the artillery. Now, if the score is 8 to 2, and I would say that what I'm doing right now is a mistake. Uh, it's 8 to 2. There's four artillery on the enemy team. They're probably at the base, or if you look at the mini map, there's the A6 region. Sometimes the artillery goes to the A6 region. We know that there's at least one tank on the west side, which means that there are two tank destroyers left. It's very unlikely that they're going to be around on the west side over here. I might have gotten um, to the enemy tanks faster if I had turned around and gone through the middle. And it's possible that one of those tank destroyers is the Wolverine. I don't know if the Wolverine is still alive or not. Well, let's see. It looks like... Uh, there's a T-67 that has climbed up on the hill. The score is 8-3. to three. But again, this is a reasonably fast tank. It's only doing 30 kilometers, but uh, it accelerates quickly. It's got uh, good engine power. up to 40 kilometers. Okay, so now you can see that uh, on the minimap in the D1 area is where the other tank destroyer is located. And it looks like the one, the T-67, has died. The score is 9 to 5. So now we can estimate that all of the enemy tanks are going to be in the northwest. You notice that I'm still using the APCR rounds. It's really not necessary. Um, perhaps I just forgot to switch back. It does happen sometimes. Now, we'll also notice that I took the wrong route. I wasn't paying attention enough. And the route that I took brings to a, a steep cliff. And it's probably because I was concerned as to whether there was an artillery unit over here. Uh, so I should have taken... Um, where the road is. Sometimes it's difficult to see on the map what the elevations are, and I have heard that they're going to change that. They're going to make uh, mini-maps, apparently, that show better the elevation on the map. Okay, so we've got an M37. He's a Tier 4. He's going to be an easy Target kill. Penetration. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Target acquired. They're knocked down. Target acquired. Enemy armor is damaged. They're knocked out. Ready to fire. Wow. 
Wow. Three missed shots. That's really sad. Uh, he was 355 meters away. And his tank is actually quite thin, and he has a little bit of an open space. Uh, it's sad that I wasn't able to, um, to hit him. But I did know that he probably went over the side of the cliff, so I decided to go around the cliff instead of up onto the base area. And I do have five kills. Wow, he was so lucky on that. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, so that was six kills. Um, score was 15 to 6. Uh, the tank is the Excelsior. This is a British Tier 5 heavy tank. Uh, the map is Cliff. This is a premium tank. I did purchase it. I would say it was totally worth it. In terms of Tier 5 premium tanks, um, I like the Ram 2, the Matilda 4, the Matilda BP. I, like I said, I've got an 81% uh, win ratio with this tank. So I don't know if it's because of the matchmaking or because of the gun or the, the armor or the speed. But whatever the combination is, I get great games. I get a lot of six-kill games. I do very well. I, I think it's totally worth the purchase. It's good for leveling up your crew. Um, I play primarily uh, premium tanks so that I can level up my crews faster and then... Uh, when I play the regular tanks, they go into the games with much better crews than if I hadn't had the premium tank. So I highly do recommend it. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing it, I, I say you should seriously consider the Excelsior. It is not a, a mediocre tank. It's a very good, excellent tank. Um, between this and the Ram 2, I would say those are probably my top two choices. Maybe I would choose the Ram 2 over the Excelsior. Uh, it depends on your playing style. If you like the medium, uh, the faster medium tank, go with the Ram 2. If you like the heavier tank, go with the Excelsior. Now, there is another option. There is the Churchill premium tank, which I believe is also a Tier 5. It might be called the Churchill 3. I get good games with that, too, but it is much slower. And between the Excelsior and the Churchill, I would absolutely take the Excelsior. Okay, so that's the game. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post below.